a lot of people do kind of feel like, okay, well, I have to go away to have my career, make my living. A lot of people come back to retire, which is great. We, I mean, that's wonderful too. But the idea of, oh, I can go to school and come back or even go away to get training, have a job, but then end up coming back here. I, I love that they feel like they can do that because they can. And I think that for me, you know, it's always that kind of stereotypical, if you live in a small town, you just, you just want to get out. Oh, I can't wait till graduation to get out. I think what a lot of people are realizing is that when they leave, yes, there are wonderful things elsewhere in the world too, but there's really, there are also a lot of things that are lacking. Um, and it's not just this, um, it, it's not perfect, just like every place. It's not perfect the way and there are a lot of things that you don't have in another location, especially like in a bigger area that you would have here. In a big city, people don't tend to get involved. They don't know anybody. So, um, you know, if I go to the post office, guaranteed I will run into somebody that I know. And that's always nice too. You know, you always um, see people you know, everybody's friendly, everybody is feels like they're part of the community. I can say I, I like Richard but because it's got that hometown feeling, that hometown, small town, you know, everybody willing to help everybody out when it comes right down to it. Because you, it, you know, you have, well, one, we're centrally located in the middle of the United States, so for us, we can ship anything on the East Coast and get up there in three days. Uh, we have a, a branch office, like I said, a small warehouse in California to help with our shipments out there, but between those two locations, we can reach anything in three, two to three days in the entire country now. Um, and so it's cheap to be here in Richland. You know, I, I get really good quality help and you get them at a reasonable uh, you know, salary rate and stuff. Helps us be able to compete against uh, companies that are in bigger places where the taxes are higher and you know, having to fight uh, a lot of regulations and things that we don't have here in small town America. So, and plus it's a great city to live in. I, mean, I grew up here, my kids went to school here, everybody was, uh, did really well. It's just a good community to have and, and things. So we want to see it continue to grow right smack in the middle of the middle of the country. It's in the middle of Missouri, which is in the middle of the country. And you can get to anywhere from here pretty quickly. You can get to St. Louis in two and a half hours. You can get to the Lake of the Ozarks, which has all kinds of entertainment and, and recreation and shops and things within 30 minutes. Well, I mean, if you live in Atlanta, like my daughter, it takes you 30 minutes to go to the grocery store. Life in Richland uh, is, everyone knows everyone. Uh, it, is a, it is a small community, uh, but uh, we are fortunate that we are close to Fort Leonard Wood, so we do have a lot of new neighbors that come in that are there. Um, so you go to the grocery store, it's usually not a quick run in and run out. You're going to run into several people that you'll stop and chat with and you know, um, want to know how they're doing and how their family is doing that's there. Um, we have a great school system that's here where small classrooms so you know your teacher's name um, and you probably have their cell phone number and can text them at any time, day or night, to ask them a question about something um, that is there. Uh, and business is the same. You're, you're a person. Um, it's very, it's a very personal interaction with business in a small town. Um, and you know, uh, Steve at the hardware store has opened on a Sunday afternoon when you've been working on a project and don't have the supplies you need. Um, we've been known to be walking out the back door and somebody pulls in. They've been hauling hay all day and we'll put all the equipment back on and go in and cook burgers for them because you know they've been out in the field. It's, it's really a, a great community with amazing people.